Hi, this video shows how you will ActiveX control for Office applications. So what we have here is our Visual Studio. In Visual Studio I created a um, new project and inside there I created um, Windows, uh, Windows Classics Desktop uh, Windows Forms Control Library. And when I when you create this one, then you will get uh, this point uh, an application. And inside the application, you have a user control, um, and I already did some stuff in there. Um, <coughs> let's say before there, uh, I will have all that code on my website on Code Doku, uh, Com controls, and there's also the entire description how to do that. Uh, now, when we have this point, uh, we, we want this application inside our, uh, in this case, inside Microsoft Access, uh, Access 2016. Um, here it is in uh, the my Access form. And as you see, there is this control, and this, this control is the same as I have it the as an ActiveX control on my uh, Visual Studio and what you have to do there is to get this running uh, when you want to get this running you need this one you have to go to the properties of your uh, of your project and then you go there to application and inside application take an assembly this is the name which is visible in your uh, in your office application, so when you go there and say uh, give me this, appli uh, this application, then you will see AX uh, that's an active user control, A um, the name is AX grid 2 dot user control 1, so this is the assembly information and that's the what the, uh, the dialog says there. Then when you create something new, you need a new uh, GUID. The GUID will create will be created as um, whenever you create a new uh, project. This, if you ha if you have the if you already have this uh, GUID, then you may create here at Tools a new GUID registry uh, format. You may uh, copy that point or create a new one, copy, and then you may enter this new number in here. Uh, but we don't have to do this at the moment. Uh, and then say make assembly com visible. That's the most important. You have to click on there. And then do the following. Next step is at build. At build, you have to go there and say register for com interop. As soon as you click on there or activate this one, then you have to run your uh, Visual Studio application as administrator. We will change uh, to this uh, later. And then you have to do a signing. Signing is um, make here, uh, create here, um, go into this drop field, say new, and then give it a name as I always say it's similar to the name uh, like this one and then some enters a password and then you will get an AX grid zero something else and or AX a name and then dot PFX um, private something else. Then when you save all that stuff then you have to reopen it because we need it as let's say here it is my Visual Studio with the right mouse key we go there as administrator then we reopen it, otherwise we will get um, an error. And then here in my application, I will close that now. I may start it. When, and when I start it, then I get uh, at, at the debug mode, I get a preview of this application. And inside there, the user control is loaded. And you see at the right, uh, at that right point, the properties of your application which are visible and you and in this case I already made a, a public property which is not by uh, by all that stuff uh, 
because what you see here is the default what uh, of the control itself so you have here something is called text box one for example this one and as soon as I type something there and I say set and go in there and then it will be reloaded and as you saw uh, it I may do some changings here and then it will come into the application that's the same what we have in, in here in our application when if we would run that and enter something there it will go into as a property a public property with an interface into the application and you may set something and get something okay I close this again uh, you may only compile that point that application um, we close that because it shouldn't be open um, we also don't need the browser anymore when we compile this then uh, we need to, uh, to be as uh, logged in as an administra or administrator or not logged in but open that project as an administrator and then we go here now to our code block here view code and inside the code it should be that uh, the best should be that you take everything of that uh, copy it and drop it into your new, new uh, application so uh, I took all that blocks uh, to some regions and inside the region you see there's a region of controls buttons contr uh, uh, that's not the, the main control the main control so but these are sub controls uh, text box and all that stuff then there's a register block this uh, block registers the application for you in the uh, in the application as soon as you open it you see this uh, register registry key application registry key and then it uh, it registers this point at the uh, as an application so you will see it in Microsoft Access, Excel or in Word as an ActiveX control. You need unique numbers. In the inside the code we have the events ID and there you have a number. This is called uh, the GUID and you need always a new number for that. Uh, so create a new tools, create a new GUID, take this, copy this new number and insert it in here and then you have to remove uh, this curly brackets and that's it okay uh, this curly bracket and the other one so uh, and then we have that's for registration then we have um, events and the public properties and this is the um, public property what you saw there text box one is the same uh, you say they are public you copy this block and uh, enter it there you have there a get so this is um, if somebody asks for for the input or value something like this and there's the return of something and you get the inside this one it's the text box one text will be uh, returned and then you have to from outside if you want to set it then you need this set block and then you're able to set that block from the outside so when you when we are here in our Microsoft Access uh, application then we have here this text box and you may see that when I'm now at the properties outside in my application then I will also find the text box here it is text box and that's the property which I declared in this block text box and all open uh, properties are, are here declared in this interface and the same is for inter uh, the interface for events public events so what you see there is public string and this makes it visible outside the application and then public methods so we have here a uh, public method uh, ax set textbox uh, set so when we are here and go there um, 
we should be able to set it um, let's do it like there when we're here in our application and say if some if the stuff is loaded for example how is it called user control 12 now we go there if uh, it's loaded then we say for example ah we say <coughs> uh, dim let's say how was it called user control user control 12 user control 12 and I said AX it's not visible uh, set something also not visible Yes, user control. Yes, as 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 a script. So this is not visible at the moment. As new a x. So I can't see it at the moment. User control. I should be able to take this there my user control mm -hmm. control grid control so at the moment I don't know how to set it I have to be honest so but the I have to switch back there you will see this uh, this interface or this uh, public method should be available at uh, the application but therefore I have to declare it somewhere and I have to find it out but that's not not, not the most important stuff at the moment uh, we need this one as public methods write all your public methods in there all your interfaces, events there if you want uh, to react on an event there register, take this registry block there and if you have local stuff there for example this if somebody clicks on this uh, button then you will find the button blocks in here for example so it's always go there and <coughs> uh, no, not, not in here here go there and then say properties go here onto the click box and then you will see that's what the stuff will happen here on this uh, local event so this is a private void something else like this okay um, what I wanted to show you now for this point is how to create an ActiveX your own crea create ActiveX control now you're able to drop your uh, for example a grid there or a pivot or a barcode for example and uh, create a public um, barcode element control which is uh, which for which is able to run in uh, in any office application and once more uh, I have to say uh, here on my grid control this is now designed as Windows Forms but uh, you are also able to uh, run that stuff as WPF as I as far as I think and here in properties you see there that the application is built now in .NET Framework 4.6 you're also able to take uh, any uh, framework which is above uh, the framework 2 so you're not bound to the uh, historic uh, uh, prehistoric uh, old Visual Basic 6 for example yeah uh, so and this is the totally new framework where you, yeah, where you are able to do anything like asynchronous programming and uh, all that stuff and you have to connection by behind there to SQL Server and all that stuff now de uh, declare it there 
and then uh, when you are at the application you will find your uh, your application here um, declared in your um, in as a here in developer design and then active fix controls and there it should be somewhere there as a name and a user control and you will find the code on my website in this case it's called code doku and here in my com controls i have the block create your own activex control